So you have the ROG Strix B650E-F gaming Wi-Fi motherboard. Of course you bought that over expensive DDR5 memory to go in the motherboard. And you want to get your max performance out of it. This is the right video for you. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to enable your EXPO profile for your RAM overclocking. And I'm going to also show you how to manually overclock it. There's a disclaimer I've got to throw out because you will be going in the BIOS of your system. This is a tutorial or a how-to. I'm going to show you how to do this, but if you decide to do this with your system, you hold full responsibility for anything that may happen to your motherboard or any other component in your system while trying to do this. So without wasting a lot more of your time, let's flip you over here and we'll show you how to get this RAM overclocked today. All right, and to show you what my RAM is running at here to start out with, we're going to go down here to the bar at the bottom. We're going to right click, go up to Task Manager, go over to Performance, click on Memory, and you can see my memory is running at 4800 MHz. Here we go, guys, and to get the RAM overclocked on, the, on this particular motherboard, you're going to have to get into your BIOS. There's a couple ways to do it. You can go down here to your window, go up to your power, and hit your reset button as it restarts. You can keep tapping your delete key once your space screen comes up. You can get in the BIOS that way. The way I normally do it, that way I don't have to keep hitting the delete key, I go into settings. Go down here to update and security. Go down here to recovery. Advanced start up right here. You hit the restart now button. The system has to restart. Just give it a moment. There we go. Now you go down here to troubleshooting. You go down to advanced options. And you go over here to UEFI firmware settings. Click on it and hit the restart button. This will bring you right back into your BIOS where you need to be. All right, here we are in the BIOS. As you can tell, we do have two sticks of RAM in our system. They are both around 4,800 megahertz, but it is a 6,000 megahertz kit. The easiest way to do it, down here where it says EXPO, it says disable. Flip this up to enable, and there you go. That's all the settings that's changed. Then you go down here and hit save and exit, or you can hit F10. It shows you everything that changed inside the system. Just by clicking the EXP01, you actually did all this. You changed your timings, you changed your voltages, and everything like that. All right. Then you just hit OK. And it should boot back into Windows. Let's see if that works or not. All right. Now you want to see if the RAM's actually overclocked or not. Go down here and right click on your toolbar. Go up to Task Manager, go over to Performance, click on your memory, and right here, your memory is running at 6,000 megahertz. So apparently my RAM kit and motherboard play nicely together. Now what happens if you get back to this screen and it's still saying the 4,800 megahertz or whatnot? Most likely it don't like them numbers, so you're going to have to go in and manually overclock it. So how do you do that? Well, you got to get back in your BIOS, so I'll see you back when I get in the BIOS. Here we are. We're back in the BIOS now. And if your EXPO don't, ain't playing nicely with your motherboard, which I have a feeling going to happen with these uh, newer systems, just like it did with the AM4 socket, you don't have to go in and manually tune your overclock for your RAM. Can't do it from your main page here. You have to hit either F7 or go down here to the bottom right where it says advanced, advanced mode. Click on it. Okay, then you go over here to where it says AI tweaker. Click it. All right, guys. And once you get this overclock tuner, put the manual instead of auto. Go down your memory frequency here. You hit your auto. And you scroll down here to find your 6,000 megahertz because that's what the RAM is rated at. And you can actually push it beyond that if you'd like to try to push it up. It looks like the, uh, this particular RAM kit will go way beyond that. Um, me personally, the RAM kit set for 6,000 megahertz, so that's what we're going to go with. Let's see if I can find 6,000 here. There we go, 6,000. All right, the FC, FC 
CLK frequency. I'm going to leave that alone. These next ones down is going to be for your CPU overclocking, which we ain't going to get into do into today's video. Well, we need to come down here where it says DRAM timing control. And this here is where we're going to do some changing. You know, click on the top one. Click where it says auto. We're going to put in 32. I'm going to use the same numbers as what EXPO did in today's example. But you may want to go in here and play with these numbers. See if you can get a little bit better performance out of your RAM. Hit enter. Go down to the next one where it says auto. We're going to put in 38. And hit enter. Next one down. We're going to put 38 and hit enter. Down here in the bottom it says 77. We're going to click where it says auto. And we're going to put 96 and hit enter. The rest of them we're going to leave alone. I'm going to hit escape to go back to the previous window. And your precision boost overdrive don't really have nothing to do with your RAM timing, so you don't have to worry about that. You need to go down here at the bottom, towards the bottom down here, where you get your DRAM voltage settings. This is VDD. It says auto. We're going to set this to 1.4 and hit enter. And yes, it will throw up all them zeros, that way you know it took that setting. Next one down, we're going to set it to the same. We're going to hit 1.4 and hit enter. And again, it's going to throw all them zeros up. And then you go down here to the advanced memory voltages. It says PMIC voltages. It says auto. You want this to be set to sync all PMICs, which means both RAM kits are going to be running the same voltage, basically. Okay, and at this point, you can go up to exit, save, save changes and reset, or you can just hit your F10. Either way, it will show you everything that you made, everything you made changes to. You're going to hit OK and let the system reboot. All right, here we are, we're back on the desktop. We're going to go back down to your board down here. We're going to right click. We're going to go up to task manager. I'm going to go over to performance, go to your memory, and as you can tell, it did take it. So that's the way we went from 4800 megahertz RAM to 6000 megahertz RAM without using EXPO or how you can manually say it, set it if your EXPO ain't working like it should. But let me get reset up here, and I'll come up with a conclusion to the video for you. All right, so I showed you two different ways to overclock that RAM on this motherboard today. I showed you how to enable the EXPO and also showed you how to go in and manually do it. Whenever I did the manual settings, I did put in the exact numbers like the EXPO had it set up. The main reasons why I did that, sometimes your EXPO ain't stable, but if you go in and manually put them numbers in, it will become stable for you. Also, if you're trying to manually overclock, you want to push your higher speed out of it, you want to try to undervolt a little bit more. The EXPO numbers is a good place to start at. It gives you a good starting point what you should be shooting for. Sometimes when you're overclocking your RAM, you have to go in and play with them numbers a little bit to get it to be stabilized. That's why I showed you both ways on how to do that. I hope you got some helpful information out of today's video. There's some links in that description that may interest you. Don't get to all that fun YouTube stuff on your way down that description box. You all have a good day. And I'll see you in the next video or live stream.